Can you just go back to her country? What, what kind of, what kind of, what you need to leave. You're, you're not a racist. part of this. You're no, racist. no, you do. Where are your ancestors from? You're They're not from this country. You're going back to Mexico. Wait, 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 wait. Push her and she smacked you. Are you the manager? Yeah, she's the manager. You need to leave. You need to leave. We're not serving you. Meet gas station Karen, a.k.a. Mrs. Harrion, co-owner of Harrion Law Firm in Glendale, Arizona, where her husband specializes in litigation. She was at a gas station in Phoenix, Arizona, where she claimed her pump was not working. So she came inside, saw that there was a person that she perceived as quote-unquote Mexican being served, proceeded to pretend to be the manager, told the cashier not to serve the quote-unquote Mexican, and that this quote-unquote Mexican and should quote unquote go back to her own country. That's when Greg Kahn behind the camera began to film this encounter. And boy, oh boy, <laughs> little did she know that quote unquote Mexican is really Native American. And she slaps her back into reality. <laughs> oh, gave her a reality check, people. <laughs> Let's have a watch and then come back later and discuss. Are you the manager? Yeah, she's the manager. You need to leave. You need to leave. We're not serving you. Hold on, guys. Okay. We're not serving you. Excuse me, but you did say you that you said she needs to go back to her country. What, what kind of, what kind of, what is that? Native American. 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 Native
without guns at all end up murdered without anyone ever seeing a gun just by the mere quote unquote thought that there may have possibly somewhere nowhere have been a gun. This is also how a Karen can harass innocent people then cry to police and the black person end up in cuffs. Don't let the propaganda of white purity and innocence fool you. White women have been instrumental in the continuation, the propagation of black oppression and subjugation. We've already told you the Casual Killing Act of 1669 was to protect white women because they were viciously beating so many black babies to death that they had to make an act to protect the white women from prosecution. When you get off of this video, Google school integrations, Google racial integrations in the U.S and see what you see. White women on the front lines, foot soldiers for the supremacy. They are women after all. And what wouldn't a mother do to ensure the survival of her babies? They want their kids to have the advantages, private schools, protection of the police, while yours have the disadvantages, dilapidated schools, unsafe housing with lead in the paint, poisons in the water, and being hunted by the police. Imagine for centuries, saying mira mira on the wall who is the fairest of them all and for hundreds of years receiving the answer back about how you are the fairest and etc etc now imagine as your supremacy slips and you see the truth that those genes that have been exalted as the most beautiful are recessive traits that aren't even conducive to surviving contact with something so essential as the sun. Look at this young lady, melanin popping, raven colored hair, bountiful bosom on a curvy petite frame with her tall, strong, silent man right beside her. And this old hag past her prime, angry that we don't live in the days of old, where she could have wielded her whiteness as a weapon and make people of color jump in line. Look at this sign, whites only beyond this point. Imagine being able to reserve the best of the best for you while others got scrapped. Not based on anything you've done to earn it, but being born with recessive genes. This is flawed, but for too long was the status quo, and power is intoxicating. Remember the saying, power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Look at how they behaved when they were the majority. They didn't protect minorities. They exploited and subjugated them. This is why they want to hold on to power because they're afraid that if the shoe turns, that they're going to be the ones at the hands of subjugation, objectification, and near annihilation. This is why they want to hold on to power and the byproduct of power by proximity to white men. This is why they vote for Trump against their female interests to preserve the supremacy so they can have the best pick of everything, best loans, best homes, police as their personal security, best education for their kids, best political power, best stores, finest foods, and guns to protect it all. And speaking of Trump, he's going to get a lot of people out there hurt having them thinking that they're superior and running up on people to exalt this alleged superiority. Not only is the law not on their side, but listen, listen we are in a new time and people are awake to the nonsense. You know, I want to hear your thoughts below. What do you think it's going to take to stop these Karen videos from surfacing? Not only just the videos. What do you think it'll take to stop this behavior? White women and men running up on people of color, impeding our path, harassing us, touching us, following us and trying to harm us. I had a white couple following me to my tiny home in Cali and I had to turn around with all the bass in my voice and be like, can I help you? Like, look, I don't care what you think about my color being a threat and yours being placid. It is never acceptable for a woman and a man to follow a single woman to her home. I don't play those sorts of games. I'm from the Bronx. I don't care what you think of me. I'm not looking for your permission to be. You're not going to follow me. It wouldn't be acceptable for me and a black man to walk up on a young white woman and follow her to her home. 
So no, it's not acceptable for you to do that to me. And you're not going to imprison me within the trope of not wanting to be a quote unquote angry black woman. I'm angry, damn it, with good reason. And you're going to back up off me. Regarding gas station Karen, you see how quickly she stepped off after that slap. A lot of these people need to be checked with reality and bring them back to 2020. Because this ain't your grandpa's America. And on that note, I'm out. I want to hear your thoughts below. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you thumbs up the video, make sure that you subscribe, and hit the bell notifications to be notified of new videos. Leave a comment below, share the video, and come over to tanyatko.com to subscribe to my personal mailing list, and drop me a message of a viral story that you'd like for me to cover. See you on the other side. Peace.